Well, all right, y'all, welcome back. You know, man, I got some good stuff for you. The next couple videos are gonna be real good, a lot of information, so kind of just absorb it in, you know. Stuff I gotta show you, two different patterns I got going, and yes, the fish have moved out a little bit deeper now, so, but still, uh, the five pound test line, a uh, little eyeball Garcia set up, and then I'm using uh, a little pearl with a 16th ounce. I think I think Charles calls it was monkey milk is the name of that color. Um, well, we got he's got a new color coming out too. Be looking for that. Anyway, this first part here, I've come back down to the lake, got on some brush, a little deeper. Let me know what you think. All right, y'all, new day. <clears throat> I'm back down the lake, about mid lake, so I got a brush pile in front of me. I figured we'll try some brush piles this morning, 7:30 ish. Uh, water temp. Shows water temp in the lower 80s, 81, 82. Oh, found one. He's jumping like crazy. There's a good little fish on some brush. Out in about 11, 12 foot of water. Good fish. Don't let him go, though. Pretty fish. I need to keep some for a little fry later. Mm. Oh. Let's see this. See that brush? That's what we're fishing. So that's a seven foot. I'm on the shoreline of it. Pretty close to it. Come over it, so that's cool. I'm on another little brush pile. Let's sink down. Guys, let it sink. I was cut the camera on. Wound up, he was there. Alright, you're gonna be in, in the sun a minute. I'm out a little deeper, 12, 16 foot. Fish some brush. Got, got it brush right in front of me. Gonna pull on the other side of the brush and letting it sink, 8 to 10 foot. And just slowly bring it back to me. Trying to get hung in that brush. There's another one. So the fish have moved off, that's for sure. Another little dude, though. But you got a little finding them. I done fished two or three brush piles, but they were shallow ones. He was out deep too. He was out deep too. A little bit better. Love it, love it, love it. Let him go. Little 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Again, this brush pile is 12, 16 foot. Throwing out on the other side of the brush and bring it back to me. I'm letting it sink eight to 10 foot. Just coming back across the brush, trying to stay right above it or to the side of it. And that boat got me all turned around. There's another fish. Stay on that little brush pile. Another good fish. Beautiful fish. You gotta love finding a little nest of them like that. That's pretty good stuff. Let this little guy go. Boy, he was a little upset. Right about bucket fish. Another pretty little guy. Ooh, God, you gotta look, find a good brush spot. Let him go. Got that old milk, monkey milk in his throat. What Charles told me the name of that color was monkey milk. Another pretty little pig. I could keep some for the old fryer, but that's all right. We'll let him go. That time I come up to the brush, kind of ease my jig over it, and then as soon as I got over it, I let it fall, let that jig fall back down. Damn, that's when it hit. Bam, pretty little fish, pretty little fish, 16th ounce.
Same as the rest of them. Maybe it's a little bit thicker. He engulfed today. Another pretty fish. Golly. That's what I'm talking about. Another good looking fish, dude. Fighting. There ain't no crap. There ain't no crap. White bass. Pretty little fee. Pretty little fee. There's a good one. Yeah. There's a good one. He was ready. So, again, I got my boat positioned into the wind, but I'm on the back, on the downwind side of the brush pile. So that can that way I can and plus the sun is is in my face, so I ain't casting no shadow or nothing around that brush. Uh, I'm throwing out in front of the brush, letting it sink eight ten foot, and just slowly. You see me slowly winding it back to me, and then sometimes I feel like hit a limb or hit some brush or something, and I kind of ease it over top of it, and then let that jig sit right back down, and they're popping it. And then sometimes I can hear they'll pop it right before it gets to the brush because I can feel that line. That floor carbon is so sensitive. So you can kind of feel it as it hits a limb and starts to rest on it. When that jig swings down, bam, they'll hit it on the back side of the brush too. All right, there it was. Let me comment, you know, I hadn't got no pictures. I mean, I got some, but I just hadn't, I just hadn't had the chance where I can edit them in. Uh, okay, also got something else uh, coming up. I had a little, well, several visitors here at the house, little animals, uh, well, they a little, but and I really don't have nothing but a sound. Next video, tell me if you can guess what these sounds are, what animal it is. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me comment, man, I can't thank y'all enough. I sure appreciate all y'all doing and subscribe. Uh, who has subscribed now watching the videos. I met a lot of folks this weekend. Uh, Alex or Alan and his family uh, in the big pontoon. They was doing some evening fishing. Um, and I'll get into the rest later, but it was nice meeting them folks. Remember, Charlie, custom magic jigs. Custom magic jigs, y'all. Crash. <laughs>